Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for November 17th of 2023. Well, it is titled Night Lights in Kekertok. So what do we see here? Well, here we see in western Greenland, looking at a very high latitude of about 70 degrees. And when we look up in the sky there, we see a very strong aurora from the recent outburst from the sun. Now this was taken a little over a week ago on November the 6th. And when we have a, an outburst from the sun and those particles are sent in the direction of Earth, we see nice aurora like this. They occur when those particles travel along Earth's magnetic field and then come in and strike Earth's atmosphere where it enters Oh, sorry, where the magnetic field lines enter the atmosphere. So that's where they come closest into Earth. So most of Earth is actually protected from the, those vast numbers of charged particles. Our magnetic field will do that and will deflect most of the particles away. But some of them will come in and will strike the gases within the Earth's upper atmosphere and cause them to glow. And that's what we see here is those shimmering curtains of light. Now we can see that they are not clouds. If we take a close look at this, we can easily see stars through the aurora. So the aurora is a brightening of the sky. It is not a cloud. It is nothing in our own atmosphere. It is the excitation of those atoms up very high, especially oxygen atoms, very high above Earth's surface. And there we get to see them as they glow when they are excited by those particles from the sun. Now, as the sun becomes more and more active, which is likely over the coming years, we should see more and more aurora. Now, often you see them at high latitudes like this because that's close to the north magnetic pole of Earth. However, in very strong storms, they can actually be visible at lower latitudes. So extremely rare to see them in tropical regions. But in higher mid latitude regions, they can sometimes be visible in the strongest storms. So here we see a beautiful aurora up in the sky over Greenland. And we can actually see its reflection uh, down below on the iceberg in the foreground there, reflecting the different lights from up in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for November 17th of 2023. It was titled Night Lights in Kekertok. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Artemis Anniversary. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.